challenge Toyota. We said we want to do take the Tundra and do something difficult. They stepped up and they said, "Sure, go to Labrador." We did. Was it as tough as you thought it was going to be? <laughs> One thing for sure, it's a lot tougher than the test track they have down in San Antonio. If, if you really want to try a vehicle, especially a vehicle of this nature, uh, that's the kind of road you have to do because we had perfect highways, we had side roads, we had dirt roads, we had snow, and we had incredible ruts. Yeah, the weather was fantastic, wasn't it? The, the, it changed. Every single day it was something different. Temperature up, temperature down. Wasn't that, isn't that crazy? Absolutely. I mean, this is, a, you had the perfect sample of whatever you would try to do as a torture test. I, that was, to me, that was the biggest thing was how the conditions changed. I mean, we got into Labrador and suddenly it was like winter returned. Uh, we had snow and ice and it was cold. And then, you know, the next day the sun came out and the temperature went up. Everything started melting. There was water everywhere. The, the, the conditions of the road changed and then and then the next day it changed again it snowed and the temperature dropped it was it was just wild and we even had winds we had strong crosswinds incredible crosswinds and you notice that they always came out of the north and because the highway basically runs east west they were just pushing the trailer like crazy so, so how did you feel when when we found out that the ferry was canceled and, and that maybe we'd have to turn around Oh boy, did I have a big question mark over my head? I mean, it's like you're completely at the end of the world, and then you gotta find a solution fast. And the only solution you have is a key and a vehicle. That was it. There's no doubt that originally when the ferry was canceled, I mean, I knew way back in my mind that that was a possibility. But then I, I when it actually happened, I mean, I was very disappointed. Um, however, I was ready to turn around right up until the internet backlash, until people started going crazy on Facebook and Twitter and saying, hey, you guys have only gone halfway, you're, uh, you're, you're giving up. Well, actually, not only did we not give up, but we also doubled the test. That's what's actually wild, isn't it? We did double we did the road twice so we didn't do 1100 kilometers of trans labrador we did 2200 kilometers of trans labrador way more than i thought we were ever gonna so we did discover a lot about this truck yeah well the main thing i mean for me was that it's as good as anything else that's on the road it kept up and interestingly of course we we focus on suspension tires you know how it handles the road but then every once in a while you realize it's really how it handles the occupants because we're the ones who are in here getting punished down that road and this is a comfortable truck I mean it did a good job the sound dampening is pretty decent the steering feel is good the seats are comfortable I mean considering you know like how many hours we spent in here it, it, it other than being tired you didn't feel like you'd been worn out on the other side you know, a couple of things aimed right at Toyota. Heated steering wheel. Get busy on yep. that. I'm telling you, in Labrador, you have anywhere you want that, but particularly in Labrador. And uh, inter most, integrated trailer brake controller. This and truck mostly, must get one. And mostly a bigger fuel tank. Absolutely. Wow. 100, 100 liters. I mean, it's nice, but when you get out there, it's just not big enough. We were carrying extra fuel, and we needed it. We needed it. And... On a positive side, on a very positive side, uh, one can say that the engine under the hood of this vehicle and the older vehicle we had, which is about the same engine, does not need anything else than a little bit tweaking to make it a little bit more economical on fuel. Because on the highway, what you got with the empty truck, we were running, what, 14, 15 liters to the 100 kilometers? Yeah. But with the trailer hooked up, it ran between 29 and 33. And that was a little bit, uh, yeah, it was some kind of an embarrassment. We wish we would have had something like 24, 25. Yeah, the fuel economy is something that they need to work on. Um, you know, the flip side of that is the places that we were running in Labrador and northern Quebec are both very mountainous. Not something that I'm used to in southern Ontario. 
So generally, I don't use most of the power that I get in a truck, but here, going up and down those hills, I really appreciated that extra grunt and the torque that this 5.7 liter produces because I could, I could even accelerate going uphill. I never had the problem of, of dropping way back. We didn't have any major problems. We had, what, probably two or three little minor problems? A wheel blocking on a trailer? Wheel locked up on the trailer. We got that fixed. That was a nice situation. Uh, my going in the ditch, well, that was kind of interesting. You know, I blame the snow plow, but... You know, that's, <laughs> we can argue about who, who was dumb or not dumb. That Brain game. fade somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah but but it, it just proved also that, you know what, I mean, that's how tough this road is. That sort of stuff happens, and you got to be prepared. And certainly one of the great things on this Tundra was the recovery hooks, because they're right out in front. They're easy to get to. You don't have to crawl under the truck, and you, which you don't want to do when there's four or five inches of mud on the road. So that worked out okay. As far as the trucks are concerned, we had a little glitch on the older truck. Right, when we got into Wabush, the mayor of Wabush had tweeted us and said, oh, I hear you got trouble with your two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive selector. Um, he says, "That's your, your transfer case is probably frozen up. He says, come on up to the fire department. He says, we'll wash off the truck for you. So we did that. I thought it was really cool having the mayor of Wabush wash our truck. <laughs> And he said, you know, you need to keep it in overnight. So then he, he made arrangements with uh, with Labrador Glass, a uh, windshield outfit, to leave it in the bay overnight. Because that was the really cold night. It went down to minus 20. It is true. Yeah. And uh, But then when we came into the shop in the morning, we figured that maybe just the truck being in the warm overnight would fix it, which it didn't. And then the uh, Sheldon, that the, the, the young fellow who installed windshields, he came over. He says, "Oh, he says, yeah, I saw the I saw the uh, the sensor, and he says, I fix those all the time because the local mine has 25 tundras and they're always breaking off. So he fixed it with a little bit of a uh, little bit of epoxy and a yeah, couple right. of uh, a couple of zip ties. And was <laughs> we discovered this morning that the trailer had one light not working because some cable was ripped off. Hey, just put it." We had more trouble with the trailer than with the vehicle. Yeah, the you know, side. you know, <laughs> yeah. Now that you mention that, when we started out, I mean, every light on the trailer was working. Now about half of them aren't, because <laughs> well, the ones on the back, because the back hit a few times, we ripped some wires. But the marker lights is because the bulbs have all shook loose. <laughs> and you know, once again, as far as the engine cons are concerned in this truck, they're both five seven liter V eights. Uh, you're talking about 400 pound feet of torque in these motors, and We've discovered that in places like Labrador and Northern Quebec, yeah, that's actually somewhere where you do need that, particularly when you're hauling oh, yeah. a 24-foot trailer that's got a front end on it, like a like a sheet of plywood getting pushed through peanut butter. It was certainly necessary, and you know the motors never ever gave us any kind of problem indication. Well, for that matter, the transmissions never once did I hear a slip or any kind of a hesitation. I mean, they've been rock solid, and that goes for both of the trucks. I mean, the seven-year-old plus the new one. And they, I discovered that the transmission had logics in it that were very useful. Coming downhill, you simply tap the brakes, they would downshift and help you keep your speed down without overheating the brakes. That I really did appreciate. Uh, you know, the, 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 the things that we learned in Labrador really apply all over the country. It's just that in Labrador, everything's magnified. That because of the weather, because of the extreme temperatures, because of the, the road conditions change so quickly and so often, um, everything about what we were doing just seemed more and more intense.